The Nigerian Senate on Tuesday passed the sum of 2.6 trillion naira as contained in the 2024 Appropriation Act Amendment Bill. The bill was passed following the presentation of a report by the Chairman, Committee of Appropriation, Senator Adiola Olamilekon. He said the amendment for capital and recurrent expenditures made provisions for key infrastructure projects omitted in the 2024 Appropriation Act and the recently approved national minimum wage. The 2024 Appropriation Act to authorize the issue from the Consolidated Revenue Fund of the Federation of the sum of 3 trillion 200 billion only for capital expenditure and the sum of 3 trillion only for recurrent expenditure for the year ending 31st day of December 2024. Third reading taken and passed. I pray that the amendment will enable the country to reach his El Dorado and bring about a renewed hope and also stem the tide of, um, of protests by the labor unions and particularly commend Mr. President for the agreement reached in this minimum wage saga. And I pray that at the end of the day, Nigeria will be better with this budget as amended. Upon consideration of all 13 clauses by the Committee on Supply, the Senate passed the bill for third reading. It was 33 and a citation. The methodology we used was an interaction with the sponsors of the bill, request for stakeholders' inputs and comments and observations of the bill on the bill, review of relaxed existing legislation to meet international best practices, and we reviewed the stakeholders' inputs and consideration of the draft report. The objectives of the bill is to provide for the imposition of windfall profit levy and assessments and review of profits declaration for deferred payment agreements for financial institutions by Federal Inland Revenue Services. Similarly, the Upper Legislative Chamber also passed a bill seeking to impose a one-time windfall tax on banks for foreign exchange gains. The bill was passed by the Upper Legislative Chamber after Sani Musa, chair of the Finance Committee, presented a report. While presenting his report, Musa said windfall tax is not meant to be paid by banks to their shareholders as dividends. He added that any bank that withholds its tax will be liable to pay 10% in addition to what they ought to have paid. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.